What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick tip on how to denoise your explosion outputs inside of Blender so that you can render out your explosions with fewer samples and decreased rendering times. This simple concept can be applied to other projects inside of Blender as well, whether that be CG environment creation or explosions like you see in this video. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. This is going to be the project we are going to be using our denoising data with. It's a simple small scale explosion that we created with the Chaos add-on. We used a uh, few 360 ground burst particle systems as well as an omnidirectional particle system for the base of our explosion. And we've used mostly the dynamic smoke fire option here other than the dust wave that we created here with the dynamic smoke checkbox here as well. And we baked our smoke simulation with pretty good detail. We've used uh, 256 resolution resolution divisions with an upres factor of two in our noise settings. Not a crazy amount of detail, but quite a bit of detail that we can play around with. So we want to get a fairly detailed render, but also don't want a lot of noise. So we can just go to render view here. I'll show you guys what the explosion actually looks like. And as you can see, we have some pretty good detail in our flames here, as well as our smoke, but we just want to make sure that we can render it without any fireflies in that noise so that we get a much more cleaner looking result in a shorter amount of time. And I'll go ahead and just play through it really quick for you guys in uh, preview mode with our OpenGL render active viewport. And so you can see the animation looking pretty cool here. And uh, yeah, that's the explosion we're going to be denoising today. So we'll go ahead and close our tab here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you want to denoise your render is you wanna just go to the view layer properties tab here and then you want to enable the denoising data. And what this is going to do, if we go to the compositing tab here, you can see that now we have some denoising data that we can work with in our compositor here. And uh, don't worry, we're not going to be using all of these. We're just going to be using one of them, the noisy image output here, but it's just going to export all of these in case we want to do any fine tuning. And that's pretty much it as far as the rendering setup goes. Now we can go ahead and go back to our output tab here. I'll go ahead and increase the resolution to 100% and then and we'll go to our camera tab here and normally I render out smoke and volumetrics at around 40 samples but for this specific example since we want to take away fireflies from the image itself and we want some fireflies to show up I'll go ahead and put this at something like maybe 16 so we just have a lot less uh, detail to work with and one thing we also want to do in addition to bringing down the samples is we want to go to the advanced setting here and just enable the seed stopwatch and that's going to give us some noise variation so that those random fireflies that show up in our image are varied from frame to frame and uh, now we'll just go ahead and go to render and render image and then give blender some time to render out your frame before we go through the denoising process in our compositor all right guys so we are back and we have a surprisingly clean render here just at 16 samples however we do have if we zoom in here a few fireflies you can see the white spots here that don't really look right so let's go ahead and use that noise reduction data to get rid of these fireflies in our compositor so i'll go ahead and close this here and we'll just go to the compositing tab here. And now what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and press shift A, add a color mix node here. And we'll put this right before our viewer for now. And now what we'll do here is we'll take this noisy image data here and we'll plug this into the other half of the mix node. And now as you can see here, all of those fireflies went away and we can go ahead and toggle it on and off here. There's off. And then if we turn the factor to one, it's all the way on and it's taking away all of that noise data there as you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hook up this to our composite node as well so that our denoised image would be output. And uh, yeah, this is how you would denoise your renders. Then you can add all of your glow and motion blur and uh, any other good stuff you want to add in your compositing process and you'll be good to go. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what kind of tutorials or quick tips you'd like to see next. I'll see you next time.